Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have a really nice gadget to show you all. Now I believe this is a very useful product and everybody should try to get it. You ask me why? Just watch this video. This is a mini wireless keyboard with touchpad air mouse. Nowadays everybody are using smart TVs, Android TVs and even Android TV boxes. But navigating on those devices using default remote totally stinks and I feel that typing using that on screen keyboard is just awful. Seriously guys I hate doing that. That's why I bought this gadget. It makes life so simple and easy. It's made by Mantis Tech and the model is MK2. So let me unbox it and show you the product. Ok in the box we have a USB cable. Must be for charging the mini keyboard. Now let me just take the actual product out. So these are the items we got in the box. The product was decently packed. At the top we have some paperwork. It's a user manual and a warranty card. Make sure to read them for all the info on the product. Now let me just keep them aside and show you the keyboard. So this is how the Mantis Tech MK2 mini wireless keyboard looks like. Looks very cute right? It's got a full QWERTY keyboard with a dedicated number row at the top. And the best part is, the whole keyboard is RGB LED backlit and fully customizable. It's a very compact, palm sized wireless keyboard with great functionality. It's got the shape like a joystick and feels quite comfortable to hold. And along with this QWERTY keyboard, there's a dedicated touchpad on it which supports a lot of gestures. The keyboard is quite thin and also has two bumper buttons at the top. Talking about the weight, this product weighs only around 100 grams. The build quality of the Mantis Tech MK2 is really good. It's made of high quality plastic and has soft rubberized matte finishing that feels nice to touch. And this is how the back looks like. You've got the battery compartment here and a power on of slides switch below that. There's nothing else here. And at the bottom you've got a micro USB port for charging this mini keyboard. So that was about the buttons and the ports. Now let me open the battery compartment and show you. This mini keyboard has a built in rechargeable 300mAh lithium ion battery. And beside that there's a 2.4G USB dongle that you need to plug into the device that you want to use this keyboard with. It's compatible with a lot of devices like smart TVs, TV boxes, computers, tabs and even smartphones using OTG adapters. So that was our overview on this product. Now let me power it on and show you all of its features. The power switch is at the back side and as soon as you power it on, boom, the whole keyboard starts glowing. Damn, that looks beautiful. You've got three status indicators here. This is for charging, connection status indicator and low battery indicator. All the buttons on it are easily accessible and it feels grippy to hold. Now let me show you how to control the RGB LED backlit effects. You can do that with the help of this function and this light button at the end. It has four different modes. Right now we are in the static color mode. This is pure white. Pressing again you'll get the RGB color cycle where the colors keep on changing. And this is off mode. Now let me tell you about the static mode. In this mode you can set the keyboard to glow constantly in any one color. And both the brightness and colors are adjustable. By pressing the function button and swiping up or down on the touchpad you can adjust the brightness. Just like this. And to change the color you need to press the function button, swipe in left or right direction and leave it whichever color you like. There's a color scale at the bottom of the touchpad for reference. The RGB lighting on this mini keyboard looks really beautiful. It's quite bright and can be very handy while typing especially in low light conditions. Now let me connect the keyboard to my PC and show you its functionality. Alright guys I've connected the mini keyboard to my PC. You just need to plug in the dongle and you're ready to go. So the touchpad on this keyboard works as an air mouse. As you can see using it I'm easily able to hover on my desktop. Navigation is a piece of cake and the touchpad works great. I face no dead zones anywhere. Typing on it is also super quick and easy. The buttons feel soft and are of really good quality. So with this touchpad you can also scroll the web pages. You need to use two fingers for that. Just slide up or down using two fingers and you'll easily scroll the pages. It's super fast, no lag and works very well. Now just like a mouse, even this has left and right click buttons which can be accessed using tap gestures. Tapping with single finger will act as left click and tapping with two fingers will act as right click. Also the same scroll function can be accessed with the 4D nav button as well. And on the right side you've got shortcuts to volume up, volume down, home and menu buttons. Using the volume buttons you can quickly increase or decrease the volume on the go. And pressing the home button takes the browser to the home page on windows. If you feel tapping gestures on the touchpad is not that convenient for you, then instead you can also use the bumper buttons at the top. They are also assigned with the same function. The left bumper acts as the left click on mouse and the right bumper acts as the right click. Very easy and convenient right? 
So like this, you can use this mini keyboard even on your smart TVs, Android TVs, Android TV boxes and even tabs. It's a great and must have companion for your smart devices. So that was my video on the Mantis Tech MK2 mini wireless keyboard with touchpad air mouse. The build quality is nice, the functionality is great, I love the RGB lighting effects and this thing is compatible with lots and lots of devices. It's got a wireless range of up to 15 meters and talking about the battery life, when you use it constantly with the backlight LED effects on, then you'll get around 1 to 1.5 days of battery life and charging it took about 2.5 hours. So that was my review on it. Coming to the price, it was only around 600 rupees on Banggood when I ordered it, but when I checked it today, the price was doubled. It costs around 1250 rupees now. I don't know why they increased the price, but for 600 rupees, this thing was awesome. Just keep checking the website, guys. We never know when the price may drop again. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.